Good afternoon, evening, morning, whenever this gets uploaded, everybody. I'm Nian Green. I am your worst theatrical resource, and this week's video has nothing to do with theater at all. Maybe kind of, but not exactly. Right, Pat? I mentioned on here a few times throughout the last two months that I was working a performance job, which is now coming to end end. And given that the performance job was Halloween related, uh, centered around Halloween, our closing cast party is November 14th. I'm filming this earlier than that. This cast party is going to be a costume party. Now, over the last, like, I think five years or so, I have really strayed away from Halloween costumes that are just kind of like from the store and straight out of a costume pack. There's nothing wrong with you if that's the kind of costuming that you use, but I am in theater, I like to get creative, and therefore I like to piece my costume together one by one. I wish that. This year, or for this particular cast party. I got to dress up this year because I was in costume working on Halloween, but like didn't actually get to dress up and do something other than working. I have decided to attend the party as the marvelous Mrs. Maisel herself. Uh, that is one of my favorite TV shows of all time. I love it so much. This is a story for later in the channel when I maybe have more followers, but I may or may not have gotten to get up close with the process of making the show. Let's say that I want to be Midge Maisel for this costume party for Halloween. You know, this is me dressing up for Halloween um, almost halfway through November. I am going to go as Midge in the pilot episode. Here's the photo uh, when she, we got the rabbi. That's the costume. That's the outfit that I'm choosing. I thought about doing the outfit when she first does the stand up, which is the same pink coat. It's just with the nightgown and her hair is messy, but no, I want the full ensemble. I wanted, like, I want to go all out and go crazy with it. Now, in the last few days, I have realized that that is kind of a daunting task. I, I just want to do it well, and I don't want to get, like, cheap stuff that doesn't really match. So I have now begun a wild goose chase for these costume pieces. I think the easiest things to find will probably be the gloves and the shoes. Maybe the dress, because if you're wearing a coat over the dress, then the dress is not going to be that visible, so it just kind of has to be the right color and shape because the coat is going over it. Yes, the coat has been the hardest thing to locate. There's lots of coats that come close to it, but I want the real thing, and a lot of them are really expensive, and I just have not gone thrifting in person yet. But this video is kind of about uh, the hat. I decided that because pillbox hats are hard to find, or even if you find one, this is kind of my problem. I don't want to order any of these costume clothing pieces that I might find online. When you find stuff online that's perfect, but you need it by a certain date, then that means that these things are not going to come by that certain date. Even if it's like, oh yeah, it'll be five days shipping, and then it turns into not five days shipping. I thought that this week's video would be my journey into piecing together the costume and getting ready for the party, and then maybe some pictures at the end. I have no idea why I haven't thought of dressing up as Midge before. Like, I watched the first trailer for the show and went, oh, oh I'm gonna watch this. It's like, anytime the trailers would come online, like, I wouldn't skip the trailer, I'd actually watch it. Come along with me on my journey to becoming Midge Maisel. Wonderful day like today. I, most of this video is going to be me making the hat because the hat is the thing I am attempting to make by hand, which is pretty brief. I am not, I don't really know how to sew. I can sew little baby holes in socks. I can kind of sew buttons. I am not a seamstress and I am also not a milliner. I do not make hats, but I figured that because this is not a daunting, really extravagant hat, that it would be kind of okay to throw together. What I did yesterday when I started this hat making process is I took my head measurements grabbed one of my other hats, measured the radius, the radius across that, and decided, okay, that radius was seven inches, and I, that hat is a little roomy on my head, so I'm going to make this hat six inches going across. And this is all so wrong. I don't know how to properly measure. Again, I am not a seamstress or milliner. 
So I took the tape measure and kind of propped it up like this to wrap it around to match my head measurement. Then I kind of just like drew across the circle until it got to the point that I wanted it to stop at and then finished drawing the rest of the circle around that. Now what I did was added an extra like inch or two around so I'm going to cut it out kind of prop it on my head the way that the hat is going to be on my head and then see where to actually cut it. Hi there, it's me editing the video. I realized that a few chunks of footage got deleted. Um, I purposely deleted them. They didn't get lost or anything, but I deleted a lot of footage pertaining to me film making the hat the first go around. So my original idea was to make it out of cardboard and glue and fabric. Then I found a sewing tutorial online and got carried away and tried to sew the hat, and then that looked awful, so I went back to my first idea. I have footage of me uh, making the hat, obviously. For some reason, I left out a lot of details, and that's probably because I started filming this video on November 2nd and kept filming things as I got like every piece of a costume all the way up until November 14th. I didn't realize how many pockets of information that didn't make sense did not get caught on film until I had gone back to edit it now. I defy any cloud. Hello again. So today I start my true journey on looking for all of these costume pieces and to actually make the hat. I'm going to go out and I'm going to have a long day with myself and shopping. I actually have the whole day off, which I don't think I've had in a little bit in like a few weeks. And of course, you know, I'm spending it driving around, which is my least favorite thing to do is drive. But I wanted to make a day out of it. You rarely get days like this anymore. It's why I'm dressed all cute. And I know that I'm going to leave today with something. You know, I, maybe I won't find the coat. Maybe I won't find the shoes. I probably won't find the coat. The coat's going to be the hardest thing. But I could probably snag the dress and maybe the gloves. And I'm going to get material for the hat. And speaking of hats, I mean... There's nothing else that you can wear on a day where you're going to look for like mid Maisel's clothing than wear a hat that is, it's, it kind of captures the vibe. This is a cloche. It's more 1920s than 1950s, but you know, it, it gets, it gets the job done. Well, my first stop of the day is actually going to be a Goodwill. I've never gone shopping in a Goodwill before because there's not technically one near where I live. Yes, I do have a tits up sticker. It's worn away from the sand. I think I've had it for about like a year and a half at this point too. I do really need to update all the stickers on my water bottle. So I found nothing in that store uh, pertaining to the costume. I found a blazer and a green skirt, which were nice. I'm sure I'll use them at some point. Not even the shoes, not even the dress, not even gloves. I'm gonna go to the fabric store now because I'm like up the street from it or something. And maybe I'll try another thrift store. I just left Joanne's. I found what I needed to make the hat. So that's cool. Like you technically have the hat, it's just in pieces. I did also print my headshot. I'm not sure if I mentioned that because I didn't bring a physical headshot to my audition on Tuesday and I'm fine, I was fine. I think for the rest of the day, I'm gonna try this one place that might be a thrift store and then the other actual thrift store that I know about, it's just, I was there last month. It was in my one video that I went there and I, I really doubt that they're going to have what I need. So I went to the two more thrift stores. I left my house at 11 o'clock today. Um, I found what I'm going to piece together to basically be the base dress of the outfit because the coat is kind of more important and I cannot find the coat. And I also like almost bought a pair of shoes because she wears these like gray heels but honestly my mom loves shoes she has tons of shoes so i am just going to look through hers and see what she has because like i guess the shoes are the least important this outfit thing like i'm kind of glad that i found it i'll show it when i get home because i left my house at 11 o'clock today and i'm starving and i had other things to do today so and the lighting's bad because i'm on my computer i just ordered something off of <laughs> I don't know why I m did not mention that it was the coat that I bought com. off Poshmark.com. The seller is in the same state as me, and it said that the shipping is expedited, so hopefully, hopefully I can at least get that get the damn thing within the week. Hello, everybody. I just got back home. Fingers in my eyes. I just got back home from work, and my coat has arrived. This is so exciting. I can't wait to open it. Hold up. Okay, man, I'm gonna make sure. 
how is it? It's like... Oh. I think it's long enough. I think it's long enough. I'm going to try to attempt to make this damn hat again because this is the original. This is what I came up with, and it's not amazing. So I'm gonna try it with my original idea of just making it with cardboard and glue and fabric. And thus begins the voiceover portion of the video. Obviously, it's not going to line up with what I'm actually doing. So I started out by taking the measurements of the poster board and copying them onto the gift boxes that I was using to cut out the base and to also cut out the band. So this was a lot of like fitting to my head after cutting everything out and a lot of measuring. Um, so I did the same thing with the band, but the problem with that box is that it was not long enough. I needed a 22 inch band and that was only about 19 inches. So I had to do some maneuvering and more extra measuring and cutting out um, tape and taping the band together and just again tons of fastening it around my head and making sure that it was the right size that it was the right amount of like tightness the right size as you can see I am positioning it on my head to see how it fit together it was actually the first base so you can see that the band that I made is a little too thin and it didn't actually fit my head. It was more accurate to the size of the hat she wears in the show but it did not fit my head this is the second base it is it's like the same shape that the first base was it does not sit like entirely on top of my head in the way that i need it to but i probably could find a way to pin it if i need it if i need it it is supposed to be perched like on my head so what i did is i recut the band to about three inches wide and then fastened that onto the top and it was still a little too, it was too tall. It was too straight instead of like curving against the head. So I cut it a little bit. Oh, there's hair on this. There's hair on this, okay. And this is what I came up with, okay? All right, a little, it's still a little bit school birthday hat, but it's not, it's not bad. Ooh, this is held together with tape. Um, obviously that is not going to be smart because I'm going to cover it with batting and then I'm going to finally cover it with fabric. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hot glue the all the edges together so that they stay in place. So the, the tape is basically like some sewing pins and then the glue will be like needle and thread. So I've hot glued the base together. I'll show you what it looks like. This is what if I'd wear like the Jackie Kennedy style perched at the top of my head. This is it if I'd wear it straight on my head. That one looks stupid. This is if I would wear it in like a midge kind of style side of my head kind of thing. I'm going to cut out the batting and then I'm going to cut the fabric. And I think I'm going to do them separately. I'll glue the batting and then glue the fabric. Okay, so moving into the gluing of the batting stage of the process. So I started out by just taking a big circle and then gluing that around the edges. And after that, I ended up just taking a strip of batting to go around the band and just Things placed that. In another layer of batting on the top. Um, I'm, this is what it looks like, but this is the under layer. So just because it looks a little bit sloppy does not mean it's bad. And now finally to add the fabric and I'm gonna try and cover it the fabric all in one, like all in one laying on top of the thing kind of swoop so that you don't see like sh the streaks. Here's our slab of fabric. Now is the moment of truth. Glued all of the fabric to the hat and here is our final result. Honestly, this shape is such an upgrade from the first attempt. Look at that. That was the first attempt. This is a fully sewn thing. It's like a cushion. This one has the shape. Of course, the edges are very bunched together. Hello, everybody. It's me, Greg. It's about um, one o'clock in the morning, 
now I have to curl my hair because tomorrow is the day that I'm dressing up as Mrs. Maisel. Oh, I'm in a baby Yoda onesie because it was my last night at my show and we all came dressed in onesies and we left dressed in onesies. I'm going to be curling my hair with no heat curlers. I have this gigantic bag from my older sister of no heat curls. Um, it's a mixture of curling rods and the spongy curlers. I think I'm going to start out with these because they have more of a 1950s feel to them. Hello, it's me again. So my curls actually ended up fa failing miserably. Like half the locks of my hair were not even curled in the slightest. And I had to go somewhere today, a little party. And I ended up curling my hair with this plant curling iron and it turned out much better. So I'm actually starting to get ready for this costume party now. And I'm going to recurl my hair and probably set my curls for a little bit. So let's pray that that turns out a lot better. And with my hair curled and set with pin curls, let's get back to the voiceover as I did my makeup. So you can see in the background that I am following a 1950s makeup tutorial. I followed it for the most part, but ended up just kind of doing what I normally do for going out makeup and just add, made it a little bit more minimal. Uh, you know, not as much contour, not as much highlight, not as much brow. Also, let's just talk about my hair for a second. It does look a little ridiculous. It is not a set in the pin curls as well as I wanted it to be. But in the next clipped look, I found one of the lipstick colors that they mention in the show. Here is my hair at least taken out of the pin curls and here is my hair after it was finally styled and that was my look for the night and we are about to move into the finished product itself and look, it turned out actually pretty well. I am really happy. And let's move into the actual photos from the night. And here's a full picture of my entire look complete with my gloves and my purse and my shoes and my microphone. Now the shoes are are not accurate to the show. I just ended up using the shoes that my mom wore for her own Halloween costume this year, which was Lydia from Beetlejuice, because they looked vintage enough, they kind of color coordinated with the outfit. I ended up getting the gloves from Amazon. The microphone is from my sister's American Idol themed birthday party from I think about 2008, and it is a cup. And the purse was just one that I found in my house that kind of matched the structure of Midge's purse from the show. All right, everybody, I'm home from my party in my basement, and this was a success. I am very proud with how this turned out, given that I, one, am not a milliner, that I, like, I don't know, I only had a few weeks to put it together, and I am very excited. I, so I was at a cast, I don't know if I mentioned this in the video, I was going to a rap uh, party for the show that I just closed and it was costume party so I went as Maisel and I was happy with like my hair looked great people knew who I was so I got asked if I was Jackie Kennedy like five times like I just felt so pretty I felt like I really threw this thing together my hat's looking weird right now anyway thanks for watching this video if you watched it my next video will be out next week at some point and I don't know what it's going to be I don't know when this video is going to go up because I still have to edit the entire thing I'm thinking of maybe changing my uh, upload days to Mondays instead of Thursdays I will keep you posted be sure to like and subscribe and do all the YouTube things so that I can cultivate an online community that I'm cultivating thank you so much for watching I'm Nina and I'll see you next week